Okay, um, welcome to this tutorial guys. We're going to continue with um, fixed position methods and we are going to continue with Newton's method, but we're going to use Newton's method for systems of nonlinear equations. Okay, so let's assume, okay, so the original theory was only for one, uh, to find one root, but let's assume now that we have two equations. If, let's say we have f of x of y, which we want to equal zero, and we have g of x of y. Okay, so f and g are both uh, functions of x and y, and we want to find their roots. Okay, so we can use Newton's method, and Newton's method says the following. Okay, so xi plus 1, yi plus 1, is equal to xi yi minus the Jacobian the inverse of the Jacobian xn yn multiplied by f of xi yi g of xi yi okay again it is an iterative method um, yeah so you have to do that more than once but okay so let's just dissect this okay so this is the next iteration this is the iteration that we're at, the Jacobian. Okay, let us define the Jacobian. Okay, so the Jacobian, okay, it's essentially the partial derivative of your first function in terms of x, um, one, and then the partial derivative of the same function in terms of x, two, and you continue as many variables as you have, as well as the second function in terms of x1, second function in terms of x2, and the system can continue for as many values as you have, okay? In this case, we have x1, we can let x1 equal x, and y, um, and x2, we can say that x2 is equal to y. Okay, so for a two by two matrix, the Jacobian would look like this. Jacobian would be the function, first function in terms of x, then the second function in terms of x, partial derivative of the first function in terms of y, and the partial derivative of the second function in terms of y. Okay, so I think, um, yeah, so that's the Jacobian. And then the last thing we have is the actual function, the value of the actual function at the initial positions x, i, and x, and y, i. Okay, so let us get straight into an example to show you how to use this method. And so this is the example we're going to say. We're going to want to find the roots, so let's perform, I'm going to only perform a single iteration to find the roots for the following system. Okay, so let's define the system. So our first function we can say is x minus y cubed is equal to zero. We can say this is our f of x, y. Okay, and our g of x, y is going to be x squared plus y squared minus one is equal to zero. And then we can say that the initial values x naught y naught are given as one two okay so we initially we essentially have this right here so we need to find the jacobian okay so the jacobian is going to be equal to the first function f derived in terms of x which is one the second function g derived uh, in terms of x is going to be two x Similarly, if we do it for y, we're going to have minus 3y squared. Differentiate the second function g in terms of y, and we have 2y. Okay, and plugging in values, we are left with 1, minus 12, 2, and 4. Okay, now it's important to know that we have the inverse of the Jacobian, not the Jacobian itself. So let me work on getting the inverse of the Jacobian. Okay, so... Um, either we can use our calculator or the Jacobian of the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix is quite simple. 
So we can say the inverse of the Jacobian is equal to the deter 1 over the determinant, and the determinant is equal to this matrix is equal to 1 times 4 minus, minus 12 times 2, which is equal to 28. So we have 1 over 28. Then what you do is you switch the diagonals, the main diagonal. Okay, so switching the main diagonal, we're left with 4 and 1, and you negate the other diagonal. So we're left with minus 2 and 12. Cool, so now we have the inverse of the Jacobian, and now we just need to plug in our initial values x0 uh, and y0 into our equation. And if we do that, what we're left with is f of, uh, f of 1, 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 cubed, which is equal to minus 7, and g of 1, 2 is equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared minus 1, which is equal to 4. Okay, so we can say that, um, yeah, okay, so now we have everything. Let's just sneaking that up a little bit. It's a minus 7. Okay, so now we can put it into matrix form. x of i plus 1, y of i plus 1 is equal to our initial values, 1, 2, minus the Jacobian, 1 over 28, 4 minus 2, 12, 1, multiplied by our function evaluated at the values, minus 7 and 4. Okay, and if we carry this out, you can carry this out using your calculator, or you can carry it out um, by doing the matrix multiplication, and what we're left with is the following answer, 0, 0,285714 and 1,357143. And that is our x i plus 1 value and y i plus 1 value. So that is our first iteration. If you wanted to do a, another iteration, now what we do is these values here are our new x0 and y0 values essentially, and we go through the same process. Okay, so that's essentially that. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Um, the most important equation for this is just being able to understand what that equation means and being able to evaluate it. Yeah, so I hope this uh, video helped. Thanks for watching.